What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Animal Crossing Pocket Camp tip video. Now in this video I'm not going to show you guys the shuffle strike. I actually have a video on that if you want to um, check that out. I'm going to have a, a card on the top but I'm going to be showing you guys that you actually don't need um, to waste a cent on Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. When I say that, I don't, you know, I'm not, you know, diminishing the, the, the players that do or saying that, you know, Nintendo doesn't need your money. Um, if you are, you know, just not financially able to, there are rewards that are blocked behind leaf tickets in the game. And I want to show you guys that you actually don't need to spend a cent to redeem them. Now, I actually haven't spent a cent on Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I received all of my leaf tickets by completing challenges within the game. Now, um, and as you can see, I am literally short of a couple of leaf tickets to unlocking, um, what's the guy named? Um, Tom Nook. Now, Tom Nook is one of two in-game items currently right now, the only two in-game items that have a extremely a lot of leaf tickets that you have to cough up to actually own at your campsite. Now, um, what I do, again, I always go to Isabel or just pull up your stretch goals and stuff and then see little goals that will give you leaf tickets. Now, as you can see, one of the um, goals is add a couple, four sleek items to your campsite to basically unlock, you know, 10 leaf tickets. Why not? Let's go do that. Um, and again, something pretty simple, especially if you're a player like me who hoards everything and crafts everything <laughs> um so um let's go to the ca um to our campsite i'm gonna see if i have four sleek items and basically add them to the campsite so i can complete that mission so i can have 10 more tickets so i can literally buy um tom nook i already already purchased kk slider again with the leaf tickets that were provided within the game from me completing challenges um when you level up or complete daily challenges i believe sometimes as a login bonus they will give you challenges and stuff like that um this is just me double checking if i have four sleek items right now um and again it's it's kind of um not hilarious that i see a lot of people saying oh you know Tom Nook, of course he's, you know, behind, um, you know, a paywall. It's not really a paywall, especially when they give you tons of opportunities to redeem and get leaf tickets. Now, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video because, again, I don't think that it's actual a real necessity to have Tom Nook or KK Slider in your campsite. Um, and I'm going to show you why because, again, it's you don't get any um, rewards for it. You don't get a friendship level with them, so they don't give you experience points. And they don't give you in-game items like bells or crafting materials as well. So, again, you're not paying for another animal to be giving you something at your campsite. What is cool is that KK Slider and Tom Nook do not count towards your total animals at the campsite. So, if you do have Tom Nook... If you do have KK Slider, you can still have the total number of animals at your campsite, plus those two animals, the KK Slider and Tom Nook. But what is kind of weird, and you're going to see when I do it in the video, is that um, you can't technically have KK Slider and Tom Nook being there at the same time, which is really unfortunate. And I'm not sure, I haven't tested if that's because I have too much animals already at my campsite and then Tom Nook and, you know, KK Slider, them both being there together is just too much going on on screen that, you know, it literally pulls one of them out. Um, I have to check on that, but as you can see, I added four sleek items to my campsite and I got 10 um, leaf tickets for it. Now, as you can see, one of the first things that I do from redeeming the leaf tickets is literally go in and check and see if I can add um, Tom Nook to my campsite. To add Tom Nook or KK Slider, what you need to do is go to, I believe it's, um, should be here you should get it no not the notice where how do you add these guys oh there we go you go into your um the leaf ticket icon 
in your crafting station and then you're gonna see Tom Nook or KK Slider. I already purchased Tom um, KK Slider, so he's already in my campsite. I'm gonna purchase Tom Nook and basically add him to my campsite. And as you can see, it's, it's not that much of a reward. It's kind of cool, yeah, having, you know, Tom Nook, um, the legendary Tom Nook, people say, at your campsite. But again, it's not hugely, you know, a predominant, you know, reward for doing so it's it's cool it's but it's not needed or it, you know you don't get no special reward for doing so let me clear up these sleek items and basically add tom nook and pull this up pop there we go paste oh, tom nook. let me move them over to the corner so i can still walk around and interact with not only tom nook but everything else at the, this um um campsite so again not a hundred percent sold that you know one you should even be getting um tom nook as you can see he gives you a little dialogue and that's pretty much it you know he says oh you, you're doing well with this with the campsite and blah 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 that that's pretty much it i'm i'm reopening the dialogue option with him and just showing you that you know, he's just like, oh, Isabella must be proud. And, you know, opening it again. And that's it. Again, same dialogue over and over. So, again, not a huge satisfaction to actually having Tom look there. It's just the fact that he's there. And then once I, um, he is there, I did notice that my KK Slider stool was empty. KK Slider, empty, not there. Which is kind of weird because... I was like, I thought you can have both, and I don't know if it's a glitch or a bug, or potentially they will fix this in the future, so you can have both there, but I'm going to remove the um, K, um, the Tom Nook stool, um, the Tom Nook chair, and then basically you're going to see KK Slider makes his return on the stool, um, which again, I like KK Slider more because um, <laughs> one, he's playing the guitar, and two, um, two, you actually get to hear the music he's playing when he's at the campsite, which again, is pretty cool. It's not, you know, amazing 100%, but again, it's something unique that you get for having him at the campsite that you don't get for Tom Nook. Tom Nook just gives you dialogue and Again, KK Slider, there's no relationship. You can't get items or clothing from KK Slider. Um, he's naked anyway. But, you know, it's pretty cool to just have him sitting there and play the guitar. Um, I think it's unique, and I think it's cool um, anyway. But uh, out of the two, I would say KK Slider is probably the, the um, one to get first um, over Tom Nook. Because, again, Tom Nook doesn't do anything besides you having a conversation with him and just sleeping. But um, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on KK Slider, Tom Nook being in the game, but behind a quote unquote paywall, even though it's not really because, again, I literally unlocked both of them in the game without paying a cent in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. Like always, you can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm gonna be doing a ton of these Animal Crossing Pocket Camp news update videos. So the best place to catch them all is with a subscription. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you wanna be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace, and I'm gonna see you guys on the next one.